my name is Ed Barlow. I'm Head of Engineering here at Photocentric. I think COVID as a whole has changed the way the industry looks at 3D printing and changed the way the world looks at 3D printing. 3D printing did step in when other technologies weren't able to get there and it did provide a, a great solution to many of the challenges faced by health workers uh, and various other departments. What we've managed to do I think is scale and build a long-lasting model that's competitive with many of these technologies going forwards, not just in the short scale of the coronavirus challenge. So by the end of the production run of face shields, with these machines around me now, uh, 45 machines, we managed to produce up to 50,000 parts per day, uh, and we ran like that for a number of weeks. The liquid crystal magma is a, a, a powerhouse of productivity. Um, the only reason we were able to scale up to those sorts of numbers is because it was so reliable. Um, so we produced nearly, very near 3 million 3D printed parts um, over the few months of COVID. Um, and that's only due to being able to very successfully print almost 100% reliability on the print platform every single time. So the thing that sets Magma apart, particularly when you're doing a print farm such as this, is its sheer volume and speed. Um, it uses a 23.8 inch uh, LCD, 4K LCD display, printing at a resolution of 137 microns and that allows you an enormous productivity um, while still managing to handle the platform and post-process it effectively. Making both the materials and the machines here at Photocentric in Peterborough um, gives us the opportunity and the ability to very quickly supply top quality resins that are perfectly suited to work with these machines. We have a, a huge number of very talented chemists uh, in our, our materials division who specially tailor the resin uh, to this machine. So for, for us at Photocentric, we knew that this was the, the goal, the, the sort of huge mass print farm um, idea. Custom mass manufacture has always been our aim, and the ability to go to this sort of scale was only enabled by COVID. We had no other justification for doing it, so we didn't really understand the full potential of our printers until we did it. Now we've done it with uh, 3D printing of just under 3 million face shields. We have now got an injection mold tool coming up to injection mold those parts which means we have these machines here, uh, which will then be running out uh, and trialing other industries through the same machines. So the first one we're gonna tackle is dental aligners. Um, so we'll be producing dental aligner models on these machines at a rate of uh, just under 14,000 every single eight hour shift um, at a cost of just under a pound each. The ability, particularly the LC Magna, to produce uh, simultaneously large parts and lots of very small parts at very high detail um, is somewhat unique to this machine. That has meant that whilst we've expanded this for the coronavirus pandemic, um, we've had a lot of interest from both automakers for various parts within cars, um, consumer grade parts uh, of various types and various shapes and sizes, um, as well as obviously the specific dental and medical applications um, that we'll be focusing on next. What we've shown uh, throughout the coronavirus pandemic, um, both to ourselves and to the rest of the world, is that 3D printing definitely has a place in the world's manufacturing sphere. Um, what we were able to do is scale up in two weeks to this 50,000 parts per day and maintain that. Um, we did order an injection mold tool right at the beginning of the pandemic. That injection mold tool um, has now arrived, but during the time from when we placed the order for the injection mold tool to when it arrived, we were able to produce just under 3 million parts. Um, so what it's done is it's shortened the delay, it's shortened the time to manufacture which has a huge benefit. So whilst we managed to reduce the time to manufacture of the parts, we also managed to reduce the cost. The tooling costs for injection mold tool are astronomical tens of thousands. Uh, with the LC Magna, you can produce that with a significantly lower upfront cost. So with the 3D printing, it obviously enables you to, to have freedom of geometry. So you can produce just about any part you like in any shape or any format. Um, you like and also in any any material that allows you to produce parts that weren't previously achieved by injection molding it can't come out of the tool in injection molding on many cases so it gives the designer much more freedom 
Um, there is a, a, an element to optimizing the design for 3D printing, which should always be considered. And obviously the huge benefit uh, that 3D printing really gives, particularly in these scales, is the ability to produce each individual part differently. So we have software that's capable of processing huge numbers of parts individually. Um, so custom things for dentistry, custom things for med medical industries are all now possible with 3D printing, which weren't previously possible before. If you're a business looking to scale up the mass manufacture of, of real world parts, not just functional prototypes or, or one-off display pieces, Photocentric can really help you to get there. Uh, we've scaled it up for ourselves, we can now help the world scale it up. We're the world leaders in the materials, we're the world leaders in the machines, particularly of this sort of size. And we offer a great service at a competitive price. Find out how Photocentric's 3D printing innovations can help your business by visiting our website at photocentricgroup.com. Stay up to date with our latest developments by following and interacting with us on our social media channels. And don't forget to check out our latest videos on our dedicated YouTube channel. While you're there, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you're updated every time we upload something new.